Hey, what's going on, Mantle Pants? I am a Streets of Rage 4 player, and I want to talk about the four big changes I would make to Streets of Rage 4. I didn't want to talk too much about the things that affect individual characters, like their hitboxes or balancing the attacks or anything like that. I want to talk about the big stuff, the stuff that affects every single character in the game. So the first big change I would do is grabbing an enemy, you see their health. Right now, if you grab an enemy, you do not see their health. You have to attack them. So right here, I grab a Donovan, you can't see his health. I even can throw him, you still don't see his health. Don't see the Galzio's health, it's a little ridiculous. You should be able to see their health the moment you grab them. That way you know who you have, how much health they have, what move is appropriate to use against them. This I think is, you know, it's a minor thing, but it affects every single character. And I think it would improve the gameplay quite a bit if you could just see people's health the moment that you grab them. So here what I did just to show off the uh, throw, the grab problem is I decided to just uh, mess with Caramel and actually do nothing but Max's front grab on her because grabbing her doesn't show uh, her health and throwing her, doing the front throw with Max doesn't show her health either. And I did this until I killed her on Mania Plus difficulty uh, in the training mode. And just, just for fun, just to show off like, oh, I can actually do this all the way to killing someone and never actually see how much health they have or, the, or anything else, you know. I, it would have been nice if I did a little bit better of a job here, but that's okay. And there she goes. Yeah, so that was uh, just a little fun demonstration of why it's nice to be able to see uh, their health the moment you grab them. Okay, the second thing I want to show is enemies. Uh, I guess this is what, the physics system? So when an enemy is on a trajectory, when you hit them, they'll remain on that trajectory. Sometimes in ways it doesn't make any sense. So for instance, you can see this biker lady here, Caramel. Uh, she's going in for the headbutt. Uh, then when I hit her, she'll just continue on her trajectory, ending up at a spot that makes absolutely no sense. So instead, what I like to see is when you hit an enemy, I'd like for them to actually land on your level. Where you hit them, it should cancel their trajectory and they should just get pushed back and remain on the level that they got hit on rather than continue moving in whichever direction they were going in. So normally when an enemy is on the ground and you hit them, they're stunned. Uh, then it takes them a little bit of time to recover from the hit before they can then hit you, you know, counter you, do whatever. But when enemies are in the air, they don't actually take any stun damage. They land and can instantly hit you. I'd like to see enemies who get in the air take stun when they land the same way that they do when they're on the ground. I, I assume this is a bug. It's something that affects every single character. And you're like, why? It looks like I'm behind the guy. Like, why can't I grab him? I'm right behind him. That doesn't make any sense. You know, like my foot's behind his foot. My fist is behind his fist. Shouldn't I be able to grab the guy? But no, you can't grab him. The fourth and final thing is the grab. When you're too close to an enemy, you can't grab them. I've already made a whole video based on this, so I'll just leave a link down below to that video. But that's it. Those are the four big changes I would make to Streets of Rage 4 to make a better play experience for every single character and every person who plays the game. I'm Anthel Pants, thanks a lot. And later on. The only time it's hard to grab a guy is if you're actually close to him. <clears throat> if you're really, really close. Here you'll grab him, obviously. Here I'll grab him, because my foot's behind his foot, like completely behind. And then if you're like above him, my fist is behind his arm, so I should grab him. 